Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In today's video, we will learn how we can load the data from our REST API into Lakehouse using data pipeline. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account. Then click on below left hand corner. Then click on data warehouses. Then click on workspaces. Then click on your workspace. Then click on new. Select data pipeline. Provide name to your data pipeline. Then click on create. As we are going to load the data from REST API to our lake house. For that we will use copy activity. Click on copy data. Then click on add to canvas. Give name to your copy activity. Provide significant description. Then click on source. As we are going to read the data from a REST API. So we need to choose external. And we need to make a connection to that REST API. For that click on new. And choose REST API. Click on it, then click on continue. We are going to use a dummy API. This is the URL of the dummy API. Go below, then click on list users, then click on request. So we are going to read the data of all the users. Copy this URL, then paste it in your URL in connection setting. Provide name to your connection. Authentication kind will be anonymous. Click on create. Then choose connection type as rest. Click on test connection to see if it's working or not. Perfect. It is working fine. We are not going to provide the relative URL because we are going to read all the users data. If you want to read specific user data, then you can provide the relative URL. To check the data, click on preview data. Here you can see we got the data of all the users. Close it. Now click on destination. As you know, we are going to load the data into our lake house. So choose workspace. I have already created a lake house in my workspace. If you are not familiar with how to create a lake house, please watch my other videos. I'll put link in the description below. Choose workspace data source type as lake house. Then choose your lake house. Then you need to choose either tables or files. I am going to load the data into a table. And if you want to load the data into the file, you can choose the file. And then you can provide the directory and file name. Then click on edit and provide your and provide and provide your table name. Then click on advance. You can choose table action as either append or override. I am going to choose override. Then click on mapping. Then click on import schema. Here you can see we got all the columns from that JSON request. But we are going to load only ID, email, first name, last name and avatar. Then unselect rest other columns. Remember you need to provide the destination column names corresponding to the source name. Here you can see I have a data array and I am reading the first row from that 
array but we need to read all the data from that json request so for that what we need to do go up in collection reference choose data as array then again click on import schemas here you can see our mapping is changed as we don't need these columns unselect it we need the data from data array only let's save our pipeline click on save click on run our pipeline is completed successfully to see the details click on it here you can see we read one object and then we write six rows into our table close it let's open our lake house to verify the data click on your workspace then click on your lake house here you can see a table is created successfully to see the data of this table click on top right hand corner on this lake house sign then choose sql endpoint then click on your table here you can see all the data has been loaded that's it thank you for watching this video